everyone, welcome to Miami Beach, Florida. Today we're touring this two bedroom residence located in the iconic Fianna House building. It's listed for $9.5 million and with that price tag, it is the most expensive two bedroom in the entire city. Finishes are stunning, designed and built by Mallory Design. These are fantastic, let's go have a look. Welcome to this incredible residence on the 13th floor. Come on in. Thank you. We have this long hallway with stone floors, beautiful wood paneling, and it takes us to the kitchen and the great room. Now, before we talk about the finishes and the details here, I actually want to take everybody outside because our views are fantastic. We have the sliding glass doors here. It's been a minute. I haven't opened one of these. There you go. Of course, they're impact rated since we are here in Florida. And come on outside. What have you, huh? Yeah, this is incredible. This is, I feel like, what everyone wants from a place in Miami. This is fantastic. I mean, where do I begin? That's Miami right there, downtown, canal behind us. We're here in Miami Beach, centrally located. And on this side, we have the Atlantic Ocean. People are on the beach. It's December, it's warm, it's sunny. This is awesome. Yeah, this is uh, incredible. We're gonna take a walk down there after the shoot and see what that water temperature is like, hopefully. Absolutely, we're gonna check out the Miami Beach in a bit. I wanna briefly talk about the building for a second. So, Fianna House is a 19-story building. This building was brand new, built in 2015, designed by Forster and Partners. And the building right next door used to be an older hotel. And as part of this development, they revitalized that hotel, it's Fianna Hotel. And they're actually, in a way together, meaning residences of Fianna House can use the amenities of the hotel. And I believe the total of the development was around $550 million. How crazy is that? Yeah, that's wild. And I'm not even sure, like, what these buildings cost to build, especially in Miami, but that's a large number either way. Without a doubt, obviously Miami Beach is super popular, getting more and more popular every day, Art Basel events. I spent the first week of December here and it was crazy. All the hotels are booked, city is moving, it's exciting, and these are your fantastic views. Now, let's go in for a second. We have the seating area on this side, L-shaped couch, drop-down screen, projectors on this side, and I'm actually gonna close these sliding glass doors because these windows are all solar tinted, meaning we can actually see the outside a little bit better, especially for our cameras once they are all closed. There you go. And yeah, these are fantastic. You have this outdoor seating area here, wrapped around balcony, and we're gonna see this balcony once we go towards the bedrooms as well. Minimalist furniture. I really like this coffee table, and you have the views. Dining area is on the other side. Beautiful marble table, seating for eight. You can actually access the balcony from this side as well, and we have some built-ins here to complement your dining area. Terrazzo floors throughout. Overall, phenomenal space to sit down, relax, and just enjoy Miami. Now, let's cover the kitchen. More of the darker tones, I like the terrazzo look countertop design or countertop approach here. Contrast is nicely with the cabinetry. We have two gas cooktops here, as well as an induction cooktop. All the knobs are nicely recessed in to the stone up front. We have more built-in Gaggenhut appliances here, your oven, microwave. And behind me, we have some glass uppers with LED lighting. Beautiful stone work, as well as the sink here that is nicely fabricated. I believe I saw a dishwasher design like this before where a lot of times if they are paneled, they're paneled all the way, meaning you don't see the dishwasher. But in this case, you kind of see the dials on this one. Mm -hmm. So it's a half panel design. Overall, I really like the design of the kitchen here. Very clean. Mallory designed it a fantastic job with this unit. If you guys haven't watched the other video we did in Los Angeles, in Santa Monica, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. We toured another Mallory designed property. Before we leave the kitchen, 
there's actually one more detail that we want to show to y'all. Designer here is really obsessive over details. And with that, he wanted to custom design a cutlery set for this unit. So all these, I don't even know the brands, but they are specifically designed and curated for this unit. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's really cool. I love a, uh, things that are just meticulously organized, you know? Gets better. Call me Mikey. Everything is labeled. Oh yeah. I mean, So y'all obviously is... on the channel don't know me very well. I'm behind the camera, you just hear my voice. But I love labeling things. <laughs> and I love just organized things. Look at this coffee spoons and coffee mugs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all Fantastic. about Fantastic. This is like a goal for me. All right. That's it for the seating area and the kitchen. We saw the dining area. I want to take actually everybody back to the hallway so we can go check out the bedroom suites. So off of the entry, we have another hallway that takes us to the bedrooms. But before we go there, let's cover the powder room. Floating vanity here, marble countertop. I like the fabrication here with this big reveal. Then same marble was used for the back wall. LED lit mirror, beautiful wormwood paneling darker toilet, and you have your cabinetry here for some storage. Now, on the other side, we have the laundry room, and coming back here, we have two bedroom suites. We're gonna start with the small one. You have your built-in closets off of the entry, paneled all the way to the ceiling. Next to that, we have the bathroom, another floating vanity with under cabinet lighting, marble countertops, and the same flooring material here is also used on the walls, and it goes all the way into the walk-in shower, which is on this side. More of the darker tones with the fixtures, nice and open, and I wanna show this detail. Mikey, why don't you go into the bedroom for a second? This entire wall is all glass, and obviously from the shower or from the bathroom, you can look at the views, but if you want, push of a button, you can frost the glass. I like that. And uh, create some privacy. All right, let's check out the bedroom. Queen size bed. TV's on the other side, minimalist furniture. I like that they don't have carpet here. You just walk in terrazzo. I love terrazzo flooring. Well, I like hardwood floors or stone floors because you always have the option of putting a carpet down. You can get a throw rug or something, you know? But if you have a carpet on the floor, it's like you're kind of stuck with it. It's so easy to clean this. Yeah. Also. It's so easy to maintain it. And more importantly, you have sliding glass doors opening up to the wraparound balcony, which we will check out from the primary bedroom. Overall, nice and cozy. Now, coming back to the hallway again, this door opens up to the primary bedroom suite. Now, this is a phenomenal space. First thing I wanna mention is the fact that bed is situated right in the center of the room. Obviously, it's king size. Then we have a drop-down screen for your projector. Sliding glass doors open up to the balcony. You have your shades, black house that are all automatic. It's just a nice, cozy room. On the back, we have some built-ins. Again, this dark wood cabinetry with LED lighting, all these open shelves. And I know, Mikey, you're gonna like this detail. Small built-in fridge for your primary bedroom suite. Very nice, why would you think I like that? Well, I know you like to have fridges that are all staged with like, you know, beautiful bottles and drinks, and this one was nicely organized, so yeah. I figured. And I like sparkling water, so. There you go. Um, overall, really nice bedroom. I'm gonna take everybody out to the balcony in a bit, but first, let's check out the walk-in closet. Cabinetry looks really nice. Drawers, open shelves, shoe racks, LED lighting, mirror assembly at the end, and they pretty much utilize every bit of space here, and it's definitely oversized, in my opinion, for a primary bedroom suite that is this size. Now, let's go this way. Again, sliding glass doors open up, but first, let's check out the bathroom, which starts here. Marble floors that are heated. Vanity set up on this side with two sinks. Again, marble countertop. Walk-in shower here that is very spacious. Steam feature, black fixtures. And yes, it's pretty much marble clad all around. You have a separate water closet here. Comes with a freestanding tub that is located on this side, facing the views, floor mount tub filler. And I just really like the way they angle this tub. That way you can get in, enjoy the views, have some privacy and just enjoy this property, you know? Yeah, it's very nice. All right, that's it for the bathroom. Let's go back to the bedroom. It's kind of a quick one today. Yes. It's not a 20,000 square feet home, you know? This is very, this is very attainable, you know? This is very attainable. All right, well, keep in mind, this is also the most expensive two bedroom 
in the entire city. So size, it's in an iconic building. Size-wise, it's attainable. <laughs> Absolutely. And then these views, it's fantastic. Actually, can we go this way for a second? This wraparound balcony is insane. That's the first bedroom suite that we toured. This glass railing, these curved balconies give this building such an iconic and kind of timeless Art Deco look. Within your building, you have amenities, have a private pool, gym, spa, and you can also utilize the amenities of the Faena Hotel, which is really nice. It's an experience to live in a building like this, but with these views, you'll never get bored. everyone that's it from finding a house hope you all enjoyed this tour big thanks to Mallory design for making this video possible and as always you can find more information about them and this listing in the description of this video lastly if you enjoyed the tour give us a like subscribe and we'll see you guys next week